Team Ubermans, and today oh, we're wait. doing a deck profile on the Reaper. But that's the end. Yes, I'm but he's come back, but better. And by the way, we stole the guns from the Kage Kage's taco. Oh, okay. But um, today we um today we, um I made it to um top in my locals. With this, uh, deck. this is actually the deck that right now I'm testing out for regionals. Um, I would have made it further, but my teammate, obviously, every time I play him, I always end up getting great stuck. <laughs> game game one, it was not even funny. He got mollywopped. I restood three times on him, and he couldn't handle all the crits. He couldn't handle because I drove him three crits. He couldn't handle it. He just lost from there. Um, uh, game two, I needed a grade one. And then game three, I needed a grade three to save my ass. So, yeah. That's how it went. And, That's um, Vanguard sometimes, honestly. <laughs> something you can do. It's a game mechanic. Alright, guys. This is my starting Vanguard. Is Red Pulse Draco Kid. Why am I running him? Because I need my grade threes. And not only that, I'm actually testing out uh, one card when I get to the grade three lineup in order for me to draw into him. And it's, it's, a, it's a personal type, which you guys will see in a second. Um, but he's great. His skill is counter blast one, look at top five, and add a grade three. And not only that, even if you don't get a grade three, at least you get to shuffle your deck and just put triggers back, you know, where they belong. Back to show that grade three lineup, sir. Okay, three lineup is right now three break ride. This is a new break ride that just came out from set 15. That's your daughter, Global Lord? Yes, he has come back, and now as a break right. And he is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, he may not be Dauntless, but at the same time, he's pretty much free. Because you only discard one card, and usually you end up just pitching grade threes. Um, his support is amazing. The um, Rebirth is not good on its own. He's good because of his own support. Um, him with the combo with the um, Rebirth is just amazing. It's just great. Is that a new Dragonic Overlord? Yes. Really? He has come back, and he is better than ever. He's not reversed. He is rebirthed. Um, but the break right skill is this. When you ride a grade three over him, you can blast one. After he swings, you have to attack the rear guard. Um, counter boss one, pitch one card, uh, your vanguard restands. Yes, you're not, it's, it's not really a, a restanding vanguard, but at the same time, you're getting four drive checks, and if your opponent doesn't have the right shields in hand, it could really uh, fuck them over. All right, now you mentioned earlier that you got off three attacks. If he's not a restanding vanguard, how'd you pull it off, though? If he's not a restanding vanguard, how'd you pull off the three attacks, then? Well, then, when you combo with him, all right, you swing, rear guard. Counter blast one, it's one card, restand. Um, swing again. That's two attacks right there. Mm -hmm. uh, limit break. Um, his limit break is this. You cannot blast one. Lock five units. And um, after he attacks the Vanguard, you pitch two cards. He'll restand. So pretty much you get three attacks, which is uh, devastating. It's really good. Um, he also he actually recombos really well with... Um, where is this guy? I got you right over here. Uh, this starting Vanguard, or Fargo. But I'm not running Fargo because I'm teching in two Vakes. She just won't die, will she? She will never die. Vake is amazing. And the thing is, you need Vake for the Link Joker matchup. It is great. And not only that, if you keep track of your opponent's um, hand, and if you notice you don't have a perfect guard in hand, they have a lot of 10k shields. Then just ride Vig and just push this shit in there. And if you somehow get lucky and draw into him, which is also why I run the Draco Kid in case, you know, I'm like, you know what, let's see if I can get the other um, Vig skill, Count Blast 3, Soul Blast 3, blow up your whole field, bro. So it's essentially a tech-in that's still essential in regards to the Link Joker matchup, which is going to be a lot more popular with the new set. Yes, it's a lot more powerful. Not only that, you can't use the Rebirth against uh, Glenn Deals because if they already Omega lock you, you automatically lose because you lock 5. And not only that, they put in that extra pressure against them since they can't guard with uh, great zeros. But he's, he's, he's really good. And not only that, even um, when, I, uh, when I fought um, one Link Joker player today, even though I didn't have, uh, I had a break right like this, it was actually really good because they had dropped so many 5k shields because he was, um, I think, he was, all right, when, uh, was it, when the rear guard, he was, he was 30, he swung for 35 with a crit, and they had to discard pretty much their entire hand because they didn't have a perfect guard, which was really great against that matchup. But she's still a surprise factor in regards to, even though she's not really a main deck anymore, she's still a powerful card girl card. still a card. very powerful card girl card. It's, it's, to me, it's one of the most unbalanced cards in the game, but it's, it's, sorry bro, I gotta win. 
that's pretty much how it rolls. Play the win. Yep, and then grade two lineup, I'm running four uh, Burning Horns, Tokyo Attacker, four Jordanic Overlord. Amazing, he's great. It's just a Tokyo Attacker. Pretty much he's just there. When you just don't want to restand anymore because you can you, you can deck out in this deck. So sometimes you just don't want to keep just restanding. Um, I'm running three Dragonic Burnouts, amazing with um, the dra um, with this deck. If you have a Dragonic Overlord in the drop zone, you still blast one, put a Dragonic Overlord from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck, and um, you retire one one unit on your point side of the field anywhere. He pretty much is really free, so he's um, really good, and you can just start killing uh, back row units, which is amazing. And not only that, he helps you from decking out by just putting Dragonic Overlord units to the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm taking in two Nahalams. Oh, these are the special edition ones from the um, the promos. Yeah, that's why you don't see these. But I'm taking in two. Okay, I'm sorry, I got stuck trying to register. Strawberry mango pumpkin. Strawberry. Oh. I'm taking in right now two Nahalams because uh, my locals just against uh, Blouse so they don't um, Mars me, uh, Bermuda Triangle, the red haired girl just so she doesn't hit. I just put a hand and tell them no to pass. Um, Nahalam actually saved me a game um, against uh, my friend um, Ark. He was playing Bermuda Triangles and he was really upset because I wrote this on my grade 2 because I went first and he couldn't hit me. I'm like, uh, no pass. I'm not gonna let her hit. I'm not gonna let you add a perfect guard from your deck. You You call that perfect guard. Well, guess what? On my turn, I'm just gonna retire it. So either way, it still came in handy in regards to that matchup that you fear the most. Yes, it's um, it's it's one of my worst matchups because they keep bouncing um stuff and then I can't hit them, and it it really hurts against my break right because I have to hit a, a unit in order to get the break right off. Okay. Um, but uh, that's just me ranting about that matchup. <laughs> and then I teched in, and it's amazing. Two 10k intercepts. Yes, these are old. These are hard to find. He's really good with uh, rebirth. His skill is when he intercepts, he gains an extra 5k shield. He's won me a lot of games just because I don't have any 10k shields. Well, intercept. That's a 10k shield right there. And against vague, um, the mirror match, or they're just playing pure vague, just intercept, and that's a 10k shield right there. Because he's a great two, since you can't guard with great, um, with great zeros. He's really good. And not only that, I still play bar, so 16 ma uh, magic numbers. No one can get rid of bar, it seems. <laughs> you can never get rid of bar. Bar's too good. I love bar. You bet you can't play them in every deck. And I'm running four perfect guards. Not running the Quintet Wall. Four perfect guards. I love four perfect guards. You need them. They're amazing. Uh, what is that, sir? Is that a crit? Um, screw you, uh, perfect guard. Uh, how big are you? I'm at five damage. Screw you. Too big. I'm not dropping great zeros. Uh, perfect guards. You need them. And I picked up the original one, Bari, just because it was Dragonic Overlord. I have pretty much every perfect guard for Kagero. Three bar just because when you have more rear guards, because um, the Kagero break right skill is um, when you have more rear guards, he, he gains um, 2k. So 21, magic number, really good. And bar, not only that, he's a really good grade one ride. AK Vanilla, they're never, they're, they're never gonna be bad. I run two, Genjo, uh, two Gojos for early game. In case I go first, rest, pitch one, draw one in case I'm great locked. And not only that, in case I wanna start pitching uh, grade three, so start using um, uh, burnout skill. Yes, I can start retiring units, and then if I have um, the rebirth, it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna lock all of them, so he can be locked. And then I run two Seal Dragon Curses. If you don't know what he does, he does exactly what Genjo does, except I don't have to rest. He just does it. All my opponent has to do is have a grade two Vanguard or Rearguard, which is not that hard, which makes him really good, and I can start pitching grade threes from my hand because you don't want them. And then finally. The great three searcher for Kagero, it's um, his skill is ditch one great three from your hand and add the break ride from your hand. So you can pretty much start ditching these and not only that, you can start ditching the break ride to add the break ride. Now here's the, thi now, here's the thing I don't, here's the thing that's kind of confusing me. The card itself says card named Dragonic Overlord. Does that mean you can ride the original with him? Yes, because it says Dragonic Overlord, that's it. So you can just add, but you don't want Dragonic Overlord anymore. He's, he's out of date. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> and then trigger what about the trigger lineup? Trigger lineup. I'm running some very interesting lineup. I'm not doing the standard version. I'm going in today with I went today in with five uh, five draws. Yes, you can deck out early in this game, but at the same time, these draws are really good. You need these because um they fix columns because now that everything's now 
a cross ride. If I have the 10K intercept and a bar, 18, bro. Okay, so we're against 3K. Um, yeah. So just in case, sweetheart, okay? Okay, thank you. You all wait up for me to And I'm running uh, this tall trigger in particular just to start getting rid of um, terrible. Um, other than that, we good? Terrible um, uh, starting vanguards because some of them can be a, a pain a pain in the ass. Some great researchers. I, if, my point, if I notice my point is great lock, I'm like, yo, sorry, bro. No, no, you're, you're staying great lock. No shuffle for you. And not only that, it's good against just killing Morgan Rod. I'm sorry. I want to kill Morgan Rod. Hey, Morgan Rod done nothing wrong to you. No, he adds perfect guards to hands for free. He can die. And I'm running seven crits. Um, I still get crits. Actually, um, in tournament today, I actually was able to pull off getting uh, three crits. And it was um, and it destroyed so many players because the numbers were were because uh, Dragonic Oval. I've actually got him to swing for 48 with uh, for three damage. Goodness gracious! And that's amazing because you drive check three times and that's just disgusting for your opponent. Sometimes they can't handle it. And of course the four heel triggers, the new ones. He's pretty a lover. But yeah, no, this deck is um I love the, the new support for Kazor is amazing. Um the Dragonic Overlord, the reverse, he's not good on his own. It's the support. The support is what makes the deck. Um but yeah, that's my um that is my Dragonic Overlord, the reverse deck profile. This is Team Ubermets signing out. Please like, subscribe, and we're signing out.